duplicate without user selected canonical in Google Search Console page indexing report. How to troubleshoot this problem? How to fix it? Now, this is actually the third video that I'm making for this problem. To be able to fix this problem, we actually need to understand how Google looks at websites and URLs. Duplicate without user selected canonical means this. Google comes, looks at different parts of your website. All these are URLs. That's a URL. That's a URL. And so on. If you operate an e-commerce site, your product URLs are URLs. When Google analyzes the URL, it looks at its code. And all content management systems in 2025 almost all of them will generate this declaration in the code as in link rel canonical when google looks at that it's saying hmm the website has told me this is the canonical url canonical url means it's the original url that's what you're saying when you declare that url and that code tells Google, you as the website owner, you as the user, you have selected that as the canonical. So, knowing that, understanding that, when Google looks at your entire website, it's seeing different URLs that has same or similar content. But those different URLs have not declared that. So therefore, Search Console is saying, you know what? We have seen different URLs that has duplicate content. And those URLs that we've seen, you as the user didn't select the canonical. So therefore, Google is going to select the canonical on your behalf, so to speak. The moment we understand what I've just said, that's when we can troubleshoot this, or else we'll just go around in circles. So now, to fix it, first, let's look at the sitemaps. Follow the best practices for submitting the sitemap. Because then, you may actually not have this problem. Because Google is an efficient search engine, it will see many different URLs and some of them will have duplicate, obviously. So, then you can surely inspect the URL. In this example, it's an Adobe Illustrator file. So that's okay, I can ignore that. So if I had Illustrator files as having problems, then that's okay. Because that's an Illustrator file that I cannot declare canonical tags. In this example, there is robots.txt. I can inspect the URL and say, okay, what's happening there? Is there something wrong? Because that's an important URL. How did Google see this? That's what you're doing when you're inspecting the URL. But don't be caught up with all these or trying to understand it. Here, Google is saying, you know what? That's the canonical URL that Google has selected. And I can inspect that. So there's nothing wrong here. Everything is working correctly. I just need to make sure the sitemaps are submitted correctly. So then, let's continue. Let's look at duplicate without user selected canonical. So that's what you do for troubleshooting. Further analyze the URL, the problem example URLs, and say, okay, are they the URLs within the sitemap? And if so, why is Google having a problem? Google is having a problem because those URLs are not declaring canonical declarations. So that's how you troubleshoot this problem. 
and that's how you fix it. It will depend on the content management system that you're using. All you need to do is make sure the sitemaps are submitted correctly. When I say that, ask this question to yourself. It doesn't matter what type of website you have. It doesn't matter what content management system you use. Submit the sitemap for the URLs you want Google to index. URLs that has original and unique content. For example, blog posts, web pages, product URLs. These are the sitemaps you should submit to Search Console. Let me show you one example before I close up. Let's imagine a content management system that's showing search results or tag URLs. There is nothing unique here. If there is nothing unique here, then I should not submit a sitemap that contains these type of URLs because there's nothing unique here. What I want is I want this URL as my canonical for this content. I want this content to be shown in Google search results. Make sense? The moment we understand that, I promise you 50% of page indexing problems for your website will be eliminated.